Bag Heels. My name is Ashlyn Tori. if you haven't been here before, and if you have, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a really special tutorial all about arm styling, okay? So getting those arms looking really sexy, really good in your heels and burlesque dancing. One of the biggest questions I get asked is, how do I dance in a way that my arms don't look like a wet noodle? <laughs> I feel like a lot of times, Women especially come to me with the concern that their arms feel a little bit flaily in dancing and I 100% understand because that was me especially early on in my dance career when I was dancing Latin ballroom. I always felt like my arms were a little bit out of control and I would watch these Latin dancers and burlesque dancers and their arms were really strong and soft at the same time. And I was like, how do they do that? So today I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's something I've been working on in my own dancing for a really long time. And I'm excited to share with you all of my tips and tricks. And before we get started, I wanna let you babes know that my program, Combinance, The Heels Method, is currently open for enrollment. And if you like what you see in this tutorial, if you want to take your dance technique to the next level while also building your confidence, on and off the dance floor, then just click the link below to learn more about Confidence. Enrollment is closing really soon for this upcoming summer round, and I'd love to have you in the program. Not only do we cover everything that we're going to be talking about in this class when it comes to arms, but we dive into legs and hair whips and hips and how to feel really strong and balanced in your heels and feel sexy and confident in front of the camera. We talk about all of it. So click the link below to learn more, and without further ado, let's dive in this tutorial. So when it comes to arms, the first thing that you really want to be aware of is your posture. If your posture is already kind of caving in, then you don't really have a great base to move from. So we always want to, in heels and burlesque, have our shoulders rolled back and our chest really open and wide, okay? And then also we want to have a nice lift of the chin and this is where we want to start moving our arms from. Okay, now the second thing that's really important, and I'm gonna turn around for you so you can kind of see this. A lot of times people think that arm movement is just the arms, it's not. That's the biggest mistake that I see babies make in their dancing, is having kind of loose arms. But when I move my arms, it's coming from my back. It's originating from my back. And that gives this really strong look versus this really like soft, kind of limp noodle look. So I'm coming from the lats, I'm rolling my shoulder blades down, and I'm initiating the movement from my back. So when I pull the arm up, maybe I'm going to just take one arm up, like really sexy-like, you know? If I'm taking one arm up, it originates in my back, it starts with my back, my shoulder blade rolls down, you can see, hopefully, <laughs> that it's engaged here. Yeah, you see that? You see the back kind of contracting, I'm bringing my shoulder blade down almost to my hip, yeah, and that's allowing me to get that really great start with my arm. And then, not only does it start at my back, the movement continues out through my fingertips. So, originates in the back, originates usually in the lats, shoulder blades, and it moves out through the fingertips. So, even if you have this really great start, but if you don't finish it with your hands, if you don't have intention and energy through your hands, it's still not gonna look the way you want it to look. So, I'm taking the energy all the way down through my back, out through my fingertips, and up. And if I go to the other side, same thing, and up. If I bring it down my back, I have really wide hands. So, this is another thing too. You always want to be aware of what your fingertips and what your hands are doing. The two things I see is either blade hands or fake touching, which is not cute, either of them, or that there's just like too much sharpness. And this comes also, if you have a ballroom background, that can tend to happen. So you kind of want to rest in the middle. You want tension out for your fingertips, but you don't want them to be like crazy strong. And if you are ever coming down the back of the body or if you're coming up the body, you want wide fingertips that are touching your body. Okay, that's what makes it really sensual, right? Sensual senses, touch is one of them. <laughs> so we want to really incorporate that. So practice this with me. I want you to take one arm up, thinking about what I said with the back and the fingertips, other arm up. Yes, now bring them down the back of your head, wide hands, 
Maybe you bring them all the way down the booty. Maybe you swoop them up the booty. Now, as you can see when I'm doing this, I'm moving my body. It's not just my arms, yeah? I'm moving my hips. I'm moving my hips, yeah? I'm breathing as I bring the hands down. If I come up the booty, I'm also meeting it with my hips. So anytime that you're dancing, it's not just about one body part moving. We want everything to be connected in our dancing, okay? So let's try it together. So we go arm up, arm up, bring it down the back, and good, all the way down. Maybe swoop one hip, swoop the other hip. Yes, yeah, so again, big wide hands. Anytime we do like a little booty swoop, booty swoop, yes. And even when my hands are on my hips, so let's say we have our hands on our hips to start in like a heels class or something, I'm really strong in this pose. My fingers are engaged. I'm not just like chilling. I'm like, boom, yeah? My whole body is like ready to move. Same thing if we are going to be doing Let's say we're doing like a little burlesque grind or something like that. If my hands are on my hips and I'm circling my chest, I'm aware of what my arms are doing. My arms are not just sitting there on my hips. They're really engaged in the movement. I use a lot of shoulders in my dancing. Yeah, that's still arm styling. Shoulders down to the fingertips is all arm styling. So you wanna be aware of what it's doing at all times. So maybe we have a little hip circle, hip circle. I'm really using the shoulders, I'm using the hands to accentuate the movement. If I'm just posing, maybe I'm just posing, maybe I'm just posing, yes. Still tons of intention. In heels, we have something called perfume hands. When I do this, my shoulders are rolled down my back Boom. Yes. Intention all the way out through the wrist. Click. Yes. Click. Same thing. If I'm doing any type of pose, same thing. This is something I like to do a lot in my classes is I have the hands wrapped around each other. When I do this, I'm pulling my shoulders back so that I'm not caved in. Yeah. I'm pulling my shoulders back. Boom. And it looks super strong. Yes. So we want the softness and the strength. And we do that often by the way we melt through the movements. So let's say we do a really strong pose with the arms. Again, you let it melt down. If we do a strong pose with the arms, you let it melt. There are so many dynamics where you can kind of play with the strength and the softness that makes heels and burlesque dancing so special. And I use these kind of in tandem because you can take all of these tips that I'm teaching you in this class and you can incorporate it into your heels classes or into your burlesque classes. I teach both and I teach the same technique when it comes to arm styling for both. Now, if you are just focusing on burlesque, something that obviously is really popular in burlesque is a shimmy, right? And often I see so much focus on the chest, we forget about what the hands are doing. And so when we are doing a shimmy in burlesque, my hands are like soft, little dainty fingertips at the end, boom. And I'm really still rolling my shoulders down in that beautiful posture that we talked about at the beginning. My elbows are kind of tucked in and I shimmy, shimmy, yes? You don't want it too strong, you don't want it too left ballroomy. <laughs> you just want it soft and sweet, yeah? So what are we incorporating again? We're incorporating our posture, we're incorporating shoulders rolled down the back, lats engaged, we are sending energy out from the fingertips and we are allowing our entire body to move throughout each move. So let's incorporate all of those different elements into some moves. And this sequence, I want you to be able to practice on your own. These are not going to be incorporated overnight. You're not going to be able to take this video one time and incorporate them in your dancing. You really have to practice these fundamentals. And once you practice them, they're going to be muscle memory and then you can incorporate them into your choreography. So. I'm gonna give you a little bit of exercises that you can do on your own. And we're going to go up with the arm, up with the arm, and down. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna go shimmy, 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 up. We're gonna go pose, pose. We're gonna go pose, pose, and then that's it. Okay, so let's try it from the top. We go five, six, seven, and one two and three, 
four and five. Melt, melt, we go side to side and side. We go shimmy, shimmy, shimmy and up. We go pose, pose and pose, pose. Great job, my love. So that sequence is something that you can come back to over and over and over again. Film yourself doing it. I'm telling you, I practice these fundamentals for hours and hours and hours, and that's how I was able to really feel confident in my arms. When our arms feel like little <laughs> lymph noodles, it's really hard to enjoy watching our dancing because we can tell that there's something off, there's something missing, and I want you to feel really good when you dance and when you perform and the arms are a huge element of that in this arm styling video. I hope gave you all the tips that you need to feel better with your arms. And again, if you wanna take it to the next level in your heels and burlesque dancing, definitely check out Confidence below. This program has taken babes from almost no dance experience to an intermediate level. So it's really powerful and you're going to learn what I learned in 10 years in just 90 days. So truly amazing. Thank you babe so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a like below and I will see you on the dance floor very soon. Mwah.